Germany's largest automaker is bringing the new generation of its compact crossover to North America at last. After last year's European launch, the new model already debuted in Australia, and now all eyes are on the other side of the Atlantic Ocean, where the competition is probably the toughest. Will the new generation bring much-needed improvements to catch up with Asian and American rivals? Stay with us to find out! Also, don't forget to check other videos on our channel. We're sure you'll find more interesting reviews and previews of the hottest models on the market. The new 2025 Volkswagen Tiguan – Better Than Ever The new generation of Volkswagen's compact crossover is on the way to its US launch, and the good thing is that we already know what it's going to look like. Yes, it already debuted in Europe, so we have what to refer to. The changes are mostly evolutionary but substantial as well, promising that the new generation is going to be better than its already good predecessor. Of course, the first thing we can notice is the new styling. Although the officials are still quiet, we're pretty sure that there will be no difference compared to the Eurospec model. So, there's a completely new face, highlighted by a new set of LED headlights which are narrower and flow into a new fancy horizontal strip that also shines thanks to LED inserts. That strip also helps us notice the new grille design, slimmer than before, moved up a little bit, so the cold air comes into the engine area predominantly through the front bumper, characterized by a massive grille with a completely new pattern. Back to the headlights. We almost forgot to mention a thing that Volkswagen seems to be particularly proud of, the fact that new IQ. Light HD matrix headlights, which will be optional, have 19,200 multi-pixel LEDs per headlight unit, so we have no doubt that the officials are eagerly waiting to see how the North American customers are going to react to this significantly improved illumination. The rear end gets similar treatment, so the first thing you'll probably notice is new illumination with a new horizontal strip and newly designed taillights. The side profile, on the other hand, doesn't go far from the previous generation. The overall shape and proportions remain largely unchanged and the side profile with them. What radically changes are new wheel designs measuring up to 20 inches, while we also hope that the new generation is going to bring some additions to the color palette, including more vibrant options, something that the outgoing generation has been missing. Finally, a few words about the size. A good thing about the new generation is that it's grown in size. The wheelbase remains the same at 109.9 inches, but the overall length gets an extra inch and now goes all the way up to 186.4 inches, which is quite respectable for the segment and certainly makes a positive impact on cargo volume and overall practicality, though we don't expect things to be drastically different compared to the outgoing model. Platform and Suspension Under the new sheet metal, the Tiguan won't be all that new. With the massive investments in the EV sectors, the combustion department is currently going through the rationalization phase, meaning that there weren't enough resources to develop a completely new platform. But to be honest, that wasn't necessary, considering that the current MQB architecture still represents one of the most advanced foundations in the segment. All in all, the base model remains the same. A transversely mounted engine, standard front, and optional all-wheel drive with automatic transmission. These things will remain the key ingredients. On the other hand, interesting updates are coming in the suspension department. Yes, the base setup is quite the same, with McPherson at the front and Multilink on the rear end. But we expect that the North American version will also get the new adaptive chassis control DCC and optional DCC Pro, which comes with two valve shock absorbers as one of the key upgrades. Furthermore, the European spec model also comes with vehicle dynamics management, a system that manages electronic differential controls just like in the new GTI. With these upgrades, the new Tiguan would offer more precise, stable, and better handling compared to the outgoing model, which already impresses with its driving engagement and earns the place of one of the most fun compact crossovers to drive that American buyers can get. Interior Design in a typical Volkswagen fashion, the outgoing Tiguan looks pretty impressive from the inside with nice materials and excellent build quality. But somehow, it lacks character. It looks too conservative for the segment, but the new generation seems to solve this, um, let's call it, issue.
Compared to the outgoing model, the new 2025 Volkswagen Tiguan certainly looks more appealing. Yes, the dashboard is still mostly about clean and conventional lines, but then you see that massive 15-inch infotainment screen. The instrument cluster is also new, and things definitely look more appealing with this massive digitalization. Still, going in this direction usually means a bit of compromise in terms of overall functionality and ease of use. Volkswagen did keep a couple of physical controls, particularly rotary knobs that control volume, lighting colors, and driving profile. On the other hand, climate is now controlled via the touchscreen. As mentioned, the new generation is slightly longer than the outgoing model, but we don't believe this can make a drastic difference in terms of passenger space. Once again, the Tiguan will stand out as one of the rare models in the class with three rows of seats, but we don't believe the new last row is particularly more generous with space. The company also claims more cargo room, but once again, the increase shouldn't be significant. We don't mind that because the Tiguan is already one of the most practical models in the class. The overall layout may be the same as in the outgoing model, but the 2025 Tiguan brings some really noticeable novelties to the table. Besides the new dashboard, the seats are also new. Volkswagen calls them Ergo Active Plus seats, and these are essentially seats with pneumatic lumbar support and a massage function, which should make the ride even more comfortable. Furthermore, heated and ventilated seats may not seem like a big thing on today's market, but those in the new Tiguan will be able to automatically activate based on the outside temperature. These heated and ventilated seats won't be the only smart features in the new Tiguan. The new generation will come loaded with advanced drive assistance features such as lane change assist, dynamic road sign display, remote parking, and many more. Powertrain – Finally, more than a single option The outgoing Tiguan is great in many ways. It's refined, comfortable, and quite engaging to drive. But it isn't without flaws. If there's an aspect to complain about, that would be the powertrain. Because the Tiguan has been available with just a single powertrain option in North America, Unlike the Eurospec version that comes in a variety of gasoline and diesel options, the outgoing model comes with just one variant of the 2.0-liter turbo 4 with 184 horsepower and 221 pound-feet of torque, enough to hit 60 in a relatively long 9.1 seconds. That engine will carry on, but it won't be the only one on offer. The 2025 Volkswagen Tiguan finally gets an upgrade in the form of a plug-in hybrid version. A 1.5-liter turbo 4 will come in a pair with a decently sized battery and electric motor, with a combined output going all the way up to 268 horsepower. Clearly, the overall performance will be much better compared to the base turbo 4 model, while the company also claims 62 miles of EV range, way more compared to the current generation RAV4 Prime, for example. As for the transmission, the base Turbo 4 will certainly continue with an 8-speed automatic, while the plug-in hybrid will rather use a 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. Unlike most rivals, Volkswagen won't exclude the basic front-wheel drive version. Instead, all-wheel drive will remain an option, which indicates that the starting price could be lower compared to some of the rivals. Release date and price from what we know so far, Volkswagen is in final preparations for the start of Tiguan's production, so even though the exact launch date is yet to be announced, we expect to see the next generation SUV on sale by the end of 2024. Things are pretty much the same with pricing, but even though the officials are still quiet, insiders suggest that the base version will remain priced under $30,000 due to the aforementioned standard front-wheel drive. What do you think of the new 2025 Volkswagen Tiguan? Will the new plug-in hybrid powertrain help it catch up with class leaders in terms of sales numbers? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.